Well, parts of the Cape and the islands are being hit hard at this very hour. Conditions there just keep getting worse. And tonight we're getting a live look at this powerful storm. The night team Susie Steinmel is live at Coast Guard Beach in East Ham. Susie? We are truly in the thick of it out here on the Cape. The winds here are strong and violent. Ordinarily, we're the only ones out in storms like this trying to give you at home a look at what it's like out here. But we were not alone in chasing these storms tonight. While there were no fireworks on the Cape this 4th of July, people had plenty to marvel at. Mother Nature showed her strength, tearing down trees, kicking up waves, and whipping the wind along the coast. Just I love the raw power of it all. Most tourists came to Chatham for the beach, but Peter Doherty and his family are chasing the storm. It's a tradition he and his wife started early on in their marriage. Oh, Hurricane Bob was the real last big that one. Was the worst that was one. that was tough. I mean, a week without power and whatnot. I mean, it's just awesome, really, when you see what the weather can do. You know, Dad's interest in the storm isn't shared by the entire family. I just don't like the sand just blowing on my legs, and it just feels. I just don't like it. The Doherty's weren't the only storm chasers we found either. No, one in Rome, I guess. Jack O'Brien braved the beach in Easton, where wind gusts nearly knocked us over. We're bored, so like, just die to come out here and see the waves. Around 8.30, we could really start to feel the raw power of this storm. Just taking a few steps on the beach is incredibly difficult, and the rain is hitting your skin like daggers. This isn't the 4th of July tourists were hoping to see when they booked their summer houses. But it's one they won't be able to forget thanks to the power of Arthur. It's hard to believe people were out on the beach here enjoying this nice weather earlier today on the Cape. The wind really arrived a couple of hours ago and has not let up since. Live in Eastem tonight, Susie Steimel, NBC 10 News, the 19th.